<laughs> I wasn't going to be no I, leftovers. Every plate I saw was licked clean. So. <laughs> <laughs> and there were no leftovers. Also, um, you said this this go around, it, he, he put it on me to get him some elegant vegan recipe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got you already got it figured out. I ain't got to do that. I just got a phone call. Okay, great, great. So this is the October twenty uh, October twentieth twenty seventh twenty seventeen Lene Gray show on KUAW Knowledge, Understanding, and Wisdom, Kansas City's global community radio station. You're most likely listening to the Lene Gray show on KUAW nine eight five at gmail dot com. Or by typing, you can also find us. I've been sharing the Twitter page a lot, and I'm asking people to go to Twitter because Facebook is doing a number with our cameras and, and uploading and things of that nature. And so I've been sending a lot of people to Twitter. And our Twitter page, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Hold on, I'm going to let it roll across the top. I'm, you know, we're going to get this together, y'all. I'm a little bit ghetto, but we be <laughs> It's Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Periscope. And tune in. I <laughs> got it, got it, got it. And uh, you just type in the letters K U A W. Y'all, I'm on cloud 110 because I didn't ate like three packs packs of mambas. So I'm I'm that little kid that old people just like get somewhere and sit down, little girl. That's me. And I ate three packs of mambas. So I'm like, no, 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 no. so if I'm talking too fast, y'all just say slow down. Just just tell me to slow down. But um, we will start today while Chef Jamar is getting everything together. You could take the camera off of him because he's over here getting things together. Uh, while Chef Jamar is getting everything together, we going we gon' tune in to my he's always my special guest host, but he's also my son, George Fuller, and he's running for office. And George, go on ahead and <laughs> and and let us know because I want everybody in Missouri that can vote for George. Here's the thing, you all. His name is J O R G. So instead of calling him George, just say Jorge Fuller. Just say Jorge. <laughs> So when you see him in person, he ain't going to get mad if you call him Jorge because then he know you spelled his name right. But go I, ahead. I say I absolutely go by both. When people ask, I was like, my mama said <laughs> it's both. Um, and Lene knows definitely my mama did. We'll say both uh, mm -hmm. versions. Uh, it's spelled J-O-R-G-E-F-U-L-L-E-R. -E -E um, I am running for Missouri Senate State Senate District 7. Um, that is encompassing Martin City, Grandview, a bit of Lee Summit. All the way north to City Market, uh, from Truce to uh, I want to say State Line. I'm about to say uh, <laughs> State. So it's State Line, okay. but I wanted to say something else. Uh, it is State Line far west and it's far east to Truce, uh, and then it changes a little bit and opens up down in the southern port parts of southern Kansas City. Um, as a and I'm running as a write-in candidate officially announced uh, last Friday, uh, October 23rd Spell at Jefferson City. Please. My name is J O R G E F U L L E R. All right, go ahead. <laughs> uh, so I officially announced the write-in candidacy last Friday. Um, I've been working this candidacy since about June of this year, 2020. Uh, it was due to the inspiration of like we have to make a change. Yeah. Uh, you know, watching George Floyd and watching the protest and going out and actually being a part of the protest, um, we have to start taking our fight on all accords. Yes. If we are not willing to fight on all accords, then we're not going to make a difference. Um, and nothing against protesting. I, you don't have to protest the masses to be a protest. You have to do it and understand what you want as a result Absolutely. from your protest. And so one of my biggest things was I'm going to go out. And when I went out and protested by myself, I decided I'm going to go out and, and run as well. So here we are. Uh, the campaign finishes next Tuesday, November 3rd. Uh, with you all support, I will have the numbers. If you would like me in as your re uh, your senator and representation for you, the people, then you will write my name in on Missouri Senate District 7, Missouri State Senate District 7, uh, if you are looking for names that will be above, that's on the ballot, that's uh, Greg Razor and, jo and Jason Klein. Uh, and so right underneath there, there will be a line. That bubble next to it, I need you to fill it in. And on that line, I need you to write J-O-R-G-E-F-U-L-L-E-R. -E -L -L -E awesome. So um, I have some questions to ask you. <laughs> so and, and the district that you're in, you know, they uh, uh, what are your what is your platform that you're running on? Because I know they're they're anti-gun or they're they're pro second amendment heavy in that district so um i mean just tell us your platform not what the district 
is running, but what is yours? My platform is always going to be educational uh, and, and start off with, I'm saying it right, educational prosperity. Mm -hmm. uh, like that, that means that we are trying to make sure our schools are funded. They have the resources where our students are able to grow and be prosperous. Excellent. That means they can use that education afterwards. We're not just teaching them the same simple things that we've taught them before right. or that we were taught. We are embracing the newness of what they're needing to learn and, and giving them those opportunities. Then it's going to be economic progress. Uh, we continuously see economics go back and forth. We need it to stay on one trajectory, and that's upward. Right. Uh, if right. you open a small business, you should be able to maintain that small business. When the COVID-19 hit, you saw a lot of small businesses start to fold under. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't have the resources to pivot. They didn't have the resources to go online. A lot of the small businesses that are uh, starting to suffer the most are restaurant industries. And, and you know, looking at that, it's we like to go out to eat. Right. We right. still spending money on absolutely. restaurants. Restaurants, absolutely. <laughs> and, and so uh, I'm glad to be here with the uh, with Shell with Chef over here because I've seen and I've been looking at it. My mouth has been watering. <laughs> <laughs> Watching him cook. <laughs> And, and I know one of his uh, assistants and one of the people that he's passing off his energy to, he's doing exactly what I'm saying. He's giving educational prosperity by taking his, what he knows and helping someone else out. Yes. Um, and, and so I'm saying that because I'm a shout out Gina because uh, that's my homie. We've been we've been rocking for a few years now. now. I know, right? She gonna come back in. <laughs> it's okay. Tell her we got some work to do when she get back. Right. <laughs> Tell her she got to peel the potatoes. <laughs> Um, but uh, so when the third part of my platform after economic progress is civic relationships, if you was listening Perfect. to the Inkwell, I, I kind of made mention and I kind of made challenges out there and I didn't say any direct names. But if you can put two and two together, you know who I was challenging. Right. Um, and if they can put two and two together, please come see me. We can have this conversation right, in person. Right, I don't have a problem right. with you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and there is no fear in my heart. OK, uh, uh, <laughs> so I'm calling you out. If you are asking, am I calling you out? Yes, it is a call out. If that is what you want. I'm telling you now, though, I'm going to call you on the things that you are you expect votes right I'm asking for votes absolutely so if you want to come at me come at me in that same sentiment if you have an expectation of me uh, it better be something i'm willing to go after i, I like that i like that <laughs> a lot and so the beautiful thing is you are a young man y'all this is what i want everyone to understand he's not just somebody who decided that he wants to uh run for office and he's going to take a platform he's been a teacher for how many years Oh, I, I'm going to say educator, educator, educator. <laughs> and that has been 14 plus years within the Kansas City area. Yes. Um, I started with I did my core year with Jumpstart Kansas City out of the University of Missouri, Kansas City at uh, two different schools, Hartman Elementary and Metro Head Start. Um, from there, I was inspired to go into education, studying at UMKC. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked at Benjamin Banneker Charter Academy of mm -hmm. Technology for eight years. Um, decided I need a transition, so I transitioned over to Kansas City Neighborhood Academy uh, for three years until it's closing. Right. Um, and now I'm currently serving as an outside partner and a manager for core members with uh, City Year Kansas City, partnered at Whittier Elementary over in Casey, uh, Kansas City Public School District. And so the, what, the reason why I brought up the fact that he's an educator, because he sees the, the, uh, uh, where we need growth in the city. Because as you heard, he said 14 years. He literally taught his little brother third grade. And so, but he's now a college sophomore. And what I'm saying is you will have someone in office who knows the importance of the children, not just addressing the things because he addresses the things of the elderly. He addresses the things of generation X and generation Z. And so he's got us all covered in the fact that he literally has lived for each and every generation. That's one thing I need people to understand. Uh, he's the only grandson. Of, well, no, not the, well, yeah, kind of the only, but your brother, you know, of Granny. And Granny, Charlie, she was the <laughs> stuff. But he was the one that she called George. I need George to do this. I need George. George was the one telling her, Granny, you don't need to do it like this. You need. He's working with his mom. He tells me things that need to be done. So what I'm saying is when you have, we have 
amazing and this is i call it my young black men excellent show because i'm showing them out you get what i'm saying y'all know I, I i literally support black men sometimes it might not seem like it but I, <laughs> <laughs> but it, i'm surrounded by black excellence when it comes to black men and so that's why i'm saying right in george fuller j-o-r j-o-r-g-e-f-u-l-l-e-r Missouri State Senate District 27, right? District 7. District 7, because I'm District 20 something. So I, I mix it <laughs> that's over. House, that's yeah, House. That's House. Okay. You start he's, he's, 20s, he's going for Senate. He's going for okay. Senate. Okay. <laughs> so District 7 for the Senate. Now, I will say this he's very approachable. If you have questions for him, tell them where to contact you. Uh, so you can contact me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at George Fuller for the People. Um, they all have pages. You can go and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You can definitely like my page on Facebook. Uh, I'm definitely active on all three of those platforms. If you have a question, you can reach there. But if you feel like you don't want to, that's not the avenue for you, you can email me at Fuller for the People. That's F U L L E R F O R E F O R T H E P E O P L E at gmail.com. Um, so those are the avenues. And if you're my neighbor, you can feel free to come knock on my the door. door. Yeah, because he <laughs> he definitely open the door and let you in and, and, and discuss some things with you. Uh, he, <laughs> and and he has no problem. And that's one thing he already knows. I'm going to be on him when he gets elected. You know, if him and his wife is out, don't be running up on him talking to him. Because I have witnessed folks stop another um servant of the community i don't like to call y'all politicians when y'all win it's I a it's a servant for the community <laughs> because i've watched people he's standing there talking to people at the buffet and his plate whole plate got cold you know because he's standing there people just ran up so you know sometimes y'all got to just respect that people are in office um matt said if i was in kcmo and i voted i would vote for you brother absolutely matt <laughs> I, thank you um and i want to say that because that, that that truly makes an impact um when you have friends that have different political beliefs, but they know you and are willing to yeah, vote yeah. on your side, that means that you are speaking for the people. Absolutely. Um, and, and shout out to Matt. Congratulations on the news. If if you don't know, uh, Matt is about to be a father of three. Yay, so, <laughs> Matt. Oh, my um, goodness. So yeah, no wonder you've been avoiding coming on the show so we can talk about these women's sports, Matt. You've been busy. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> but congratulations to them. They are truly supporters of the Lene Gray show. Yes. Uh, he has been a guest on this show. Yes. Uh, if you want to look back over the summer, there's a, a guest spot when him and I were there. Uh, he is having another boy is what he wants to say. All right. Uh, <laughs> so I, I'm definitely having to shout him out. We have been college friends. He studied education at the University of Missouri, Kansas City with awesome. me as well. Awesome. Um, and so just knowing that we could have a difference of opinions and I'm still getting his support. If you are trying to question why am I doing what I'm doing, mm -hmm. uh, that's it. It's, yeah. it's yeah. being able to say it doesn't matter your political line, mindset of what Absolutely. you want. Mm -hmm. You are looking for who is going to do for you. And that's what Fuller and for you, the People And is. I always tell people, you always stop. We need to stop voting just on what everybody else says. We need to do informed voting so we can put the absolute best candidate in office for us. Right now, we are seeing a rush to the polls, and people are not thinking once again because we are doing reactionary voting. This this is a, a, a reaction to, instead of being proactive, we're being reactive, you know? And so this is, we have to November 3rd. Say it again, where they can, Fuller for the People, and what's your email? Fuller for the People at gmail.com. George Fuller for the People on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, if you message me, I will message back. Uh, if you message me with spam, I probably will ignore you. Right, <laughs> right, right. But if you are truly trying to get in contact with me, those are avenues that I am on. It comes directly to my phone. Uh, I'm not giving out my phone number and Better I'm not, not giving out my address. Absolutely. Uh, but if you are my neighbor, you already know because I knocked on your door and I told you where I live. Absolutely. So you, you as my neighbor, you have the right to come and talk to me as a neighbor. We don't have to hide that. Now, if you are my constituents, if you are voting me in and you would like to have conversations with me, you have the Lene Gray show right here on KUAW. You can always email and request me because she's going to get me on regardless. Absolutely. If, I, if I'm busy or not. <laughs> Absolutely. He will be on the show. And, uh, and if you haven't noticed, uh, plenty of times he's been my special guest host when I couldn't make it in. And we had one situation I'm so proud of him. He stepped in because I already do the show. I was like, Arr! 
that would be illegal. Both of us would be in trouble. <laughs> and so he stepped in to do the interview, and it was an amazing interview. And so I just really appreciate you for that. And you can, when you watch through the show, you'll you'll literally see what type of person that George is. Everybody falls in love with George. Trust me. Whenever I tell people George Fuller is my son, they're like, George Fuller is your son? Oh, my God. <laughs> and so that's what I just want you all to know is that it's not just someone deciding, oh, I'm going to vote for, um, you know, I want to run for office. No, this person knows and wants to make sure that things are better for us from the top, from the youngest to the oldest, from the oldest to the youngest. He leaves none of us out because he is all of us. Our babies in school are his babies, literally in school. Our grandparents are his grandparents. Us as mothers and parents, we are his parents. And he operates with all of his generation that is his age group and, you know, 10 and 10 years below, 10 years above. So I want everyone to understand how important this November 3rd election is. I'm looking dead in the camera because I want people to understand this. I don't care who you vote for. I don't care what you vote for. I just need you to informed vote. Understand that this is one of the most important votes that we can make. Everyone is focusing on the presidential election, but we still have a state, county, and local election. Our state election for the state of Missouri has something that is very serious mm -hmm. that has been put on the ballot. Amendment 3, isn't it? Yes. Amendment, Amendment three. 3. They are asking you to vote yes for Amendment 3. And you should vote no because we already voted Amendment 3 in in 2018. And so what they did was they put the fact that, oh, we're going to uh, put caps on lobbyists and, and gifts that politicians can accept from lobbyists. That's the, the, the what do I call the wolf in sheep's clothing, or that's the Trojan horse. Because they get your attention with we want to cap lobby gifts and cap like, but if you read further on, they're giving the governor unlimited power. That's dangerous. If you all seen, remember Con Katrina, Hurricane Katrina happened because the governor, the, the after damage happened, everybody blamed it on George Bush. You could not blame that on George Bush because the power was held with the governor and the mayor. And like George Bush said, he stood there while those two had a standoff on what they want to do because both of them had two different ideas. They're all on Air Force One. He's like, we got to do something. But he couldn't step in and overstep them. Now imagine if the governor then had unlimited power. She would have made a move that would have threatened the lives of every single. It was bad. Katrina was bad. But her decision would have been to let it burn down in the lower end where the majority of the, of the so-called minorities or black people are. So that's where you want to keep things balanced. And what will happen with Amendment 3? Remember, in the state of Missouri, we already voted on Amendment 3 in 2018. We already put the caps on legislators when it comes to lobbyists in 2018. Do not let those first couple of sentences fool you. Vote no. That is very where what go ahead. I'm sorry. I just went on a rant. You're you're absolutely right, and I I, I thank uh, Cecilia Cec uh, Cecilia I'm saying it right um, Patton because she definitely for those that live in the South they were they did a Southern um, portion and she came on and lit it on fire. Yes. Um, when you look at Amendment Three, it is literally in their re redistricting. Yeah. The zones. So if you think about it, I'm in Missouri Senate, State Senate District Three. This gives the power to appoint uh, the governor the power to appoint new people to come and redesign those districts. Mm -hmm. So when you're trying to figure out why you don't know who you have in office mm -hmm. and why you don't have someone that lives near you representing you in office and why you can't go and communicate with this person in office, that is for those people right there. That amendment three, if you vote that in, that's what's going to happen. Absolutely. That's what's already, and we call that uh, gerrymandering. Gerrymandering. And if you understand how gerrymandering or redistricting or whatever, it's always the lines are always drawn in order in 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 favor of you know i don't want to in, in, in favor, favor of affluence affluence yeah that, that's a great word because so, i didn't want to just come in, off in, in favor of property owners of, and not in favor of tenants tenants and residents yeah. uh and so. <laughs> so and and even in me being a property owner for years it wouldn't have been in favor of me if you get what i'm saying so you have to make sure that you are aware you vote 
informed, do informed voting, do your research. Uh, Matt said, uh, hey, Miss Walker, how are you doing? Uh, Matt said, me and George don't even agree on every topic, but we do listen and try to understand the other's point of view. That's one thing I have always respected about him. And he said, I'm the white son. Matt <laughs> is the white son. And that's the, to, for Matt to say that he would vote for George, that like he said, they don't agree on every topic, but they, they respect each other's views to listen and, and understand. So that tells you right there that what type of per person you're voting in. So once again, George Fuller, for the people, write him in on August 3rd for Missouri Senate seat seven. And what we will do is, um, I'm gonna pass my laptop over here to you, we, and you gonna type in your name in the comments so people can see exactly how to spell his name. Write it down and take it with you to, um, to vote. Please don't forget. Write, the, uh, write his name down and take it with you to vote because he's doing a pretty much at large. You're at large, right? It's I am independent. So. Independent. So, but it's still a thing where it's a large group. So he won't be able to hit up every voting uh, precinct because it's so large of a of a district for him. So I'll and, say uh, it's so it, you got to think about it. I'm literally in Martin City, so 135th and Holmes all the way up to city market. Yeah. And if you were to drive that, you would be on the highway for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Absolutely. Um, and that's not, that's highway. We're not talking about going into neighborhoods and going into residence, residential areas or going into the polling places. Right. Uh, and, and no, uh, when I say this, I am truly grassroots. I am a hundred percent grassroots. There's been no fundraisers. Yeah. I have not asked anyone to support me financially. I have not asked or accepted any gifts. Um, if you support me, you are supporting me by going and being present with the people. You're going and being present with serving others. You're going and being present in the community. And that's what my support is. That's all I need you to do. If you want to support me in that fashion, thank you. If you want to support me by voting me in, by writing me in, thank you. Because that truly says that you know you have someone that is about the people, that is doing for the people. I have up front and i just did my mec stuff so if you really want to question the mec knows it as well i have not gotten any funds from anyone yeah and 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 all of my expenses i have none because everything that i've done has been voluntary service community service we want to thank you we want to thank you so much <laughs> and george george was last minute but we had to get him in before election tuesday so i appreciate you all for taking the time to uh in, in the state of missouri remember a vote no on amendment three and write in missouri senate district seat seven j-o-r-g-e last name fuller f-u-l-l-e-r we want to thank you so much george i appreciate you coming in george is still going to stay around for the second portion of the show we're getting ready to go to our commercial break and then we're going to come back with as sean edwards called him chef diddy jr <laughs> <laughs> Chef Jamar Gridine here on the Lene Gray Show on KUAW. Knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. See you in two minutes. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody, this is Scatter. You might remember me from way back in the Zodiac days. Be sure and check us out. We're going to be here every day from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. It's old school with Scatter. Scatter's back. Check me out on the internet. KUAW.org. For all you for sale Central Manulite people, want you to remember that in the 60s and the 70s, we had some good music. If you want to hear some of the Temptations, some of Smokey Robinson, some of the Tim Free, things that you don't get every day, DJ Scatter remembers. He's going to have it for you. Bank of Blue Valley is a proud sponsor of KUAW Radio. At Bank of Blue Valley, we believe that an understanding of financial value sets individuals up for a strong future. Whether you want to talk about checking and savings accounts, review lending alternatives, or discuss starting your own business, we have the right people to listen and advise. Visit us at bankbv.com to get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. You are listening to 98.5. This is KUAW, Kansas City, Missouri. Glad you're listening. Keep tuning to the new voice in Kansas City. Hi, my name is Felania Johnson, and I'm a freshman at Facel Academy of Fine and Performing Arts. My name is Mayan Charity, and I'm a seventh grader at Lincoln College Preparatory. STEM is a program about science, technology, engineering, and math. More girls our age should get more involved in the program because there's a shortage of black girls in STEM. 
African American women make up just 2% of engineers. Roughly one third of students of color express an interest in STEM. Most black women think that STEM is too challenging. We are sisters in STEM and we are encouraging young black teens to join STEM. If you're interested in more information, please contact Ina Montgomery at 816-866-6340. Tycon Company, LLC, specializes in a wide range of construction services, which includes the removal and replacement of concrete curbs, sidewalk, driveway, and paving. They pride themselves in the quality of their service, but more importantly, with the quickness in which they provide those services. Their primary goal and objective is to achieve 100% customer satisfaction, and they won't settle for anything less. Their crews travel within a 100-mile radius of the Kansas City, Missouri metropolitan area, which includes cities on both sides of the Kansas and Missouri state line. Tycon Company, LLC, 4435 Prospect Avenue, Kansas City, Missouri, 64130, 816-921-0473. Tycon Company, LLC, quality with quickness. Proud sponsor of Wake Up KC. This is Quentin Lucas speaking on behalf of KUAW, Knowledge, Understanding, and Wisdom. Make sure that you gain that knowledge listening to this station and following us on Facebook Live. KUAW, making sure our community has a voice. You are listening to The Lene Gray Show on KUAW, Knowledge, Understanding, and Wisdom. Okay. This is your host, Kay Brooklyn. All righty, and we're back. This is Lene Gray with the Lene Gray Show for our second half of the Lene Gray Show, which I like to call Young Black Man Excellence. And uh, we are showing off our amazing young black men here in Kansas City, Missouri, and the amazing things that they are doing. And both of them are actually worldwide. George didn't George didn't rattle off all his credentials because people would say that it's bragging. It ain't bragging. It's a resume when it's the truth. <laughs> That's what I taught Jamar. You know, we were talking on the phone and he was like, well, I don't want to really like the black. No, it ain't bragging. It's a resume when you're telling the truth. So people don't have to like all your long list of credentials, but you throw them out there anyway. But I want to bring on air right now, Chef Jamar Gridine, or as Sean Edwards has nicknamed him, Chef Diddy Jr., because <laughs> that is classic cup red carpet event y'all y'all have not seen a red carpet done in the manner of excellence that it was done and i'm gonna keep bragging about that because a bunch of people underestimated it and we talked about that in a bun and i'm not gonna say anything but a bunch of people underestimated it and didn't come red carpet ready y'all better get y'all stuff together for december 12th go ahead and tell us what you got going on chef hey how's it going guys you're back with chef jamar um guys 21 year old chef um, what can I say? I want to thank everybody for coming out to the red carpet. I want to thank our judges, um, Sean Edwards from LA Movie Critic. I want to thank Georgie Montez, food enthusiast. I want to thank my best friend, Jashira Bowden, international black ambassador. And I also want to thank beautiful Busy y'all. Bitten, yeah. <laughs> and I want to thank uh, Joey Thomas from the Joey Cuts Barbershop. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. And I want to thank everybody for just showing up and supporting me. Yes. Um, and the passion of cooking and just being able to execute a nice upscale red carpet event upscale. because my whole point yes. was I wanted to bring everybody together and then also wanted to bring Hollywood to Kansas City. And you did just that. And so uh, yes. that's the whole point of that. You did and, just uh, that and we truly appreciate it. I, I I always tell him, write down everything you're doing because he does so much and then he'll just throw stuff in there like it's nothing. You know, be like, oh, well, I'm just doing it. I'm like, no, that's important too. <laughs> so I had him write down and you should see all the stuff he got written down. I had him write down everything he's doing. So we're going to take the time. Huh? And I sent you an email. Oh, you said, yeah, he didn't send me an email two or three times. And I'm telling y'all, since I've been speaking out against this NSAR stuff, Facebook been trying to shut me down. I'm off of Twitter. I mean, they kicking me off everything. Now they messing with my text messages. I don't know what's going on with that. But um, my emails and stuff are not coming through. But he did send me an email. Um, go ahead and let us know everything you have going on. Because 
people need y'all need to start getting y'all coin together seriously and i'm not even gonna say coin because this this right here ain't coin stuff y'all need to get the money that folds <laughs> get that money together start buying y'all dresses now try to hit up the after what did the black friday sale to get these dang on dresses together yeah. get the tuxes my uh dapper dan my 15 year old He's talking about some, oh, mama, I'm going to the next one with you. And he even told me what color he wearing. I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. So your stuff going to cost more than <laughs> So oh, now right now, if you get it, Men's Warehouse has got the deal. So if you <laughs> go see my man, Jay Jackson. Uh, okay. And, and he'll get you together. In independence. <laughs> yes. And, and I, That's he, the one he we go Lee to. Summit, He's in Lee Summit. Go to That's Lee the Summit. one we go to, yeah, Lee Summit. Yeah. yeah. If he ain't there, then come back when he is there. That's okay. what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, that, so because Jay Jackson is the one who did Sebastian's graduation suit. But I just want to tell everyone, please, let's support. Let's learn to start supporting our young black talent. And I had a white woman stand there and talk to me and look me in my face. And I'm going to say this to both of you all. She said, the reason that young black people and black people don't have the power that you have, that you should have. She said, you're yelling for equity and equitable rights, but you don't support each other when you do have great businesses. And she got to naming amazing businesses from her friends and family members that were in Memphis, Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas, and I think one in Topeka. And she said that those businesses of friends did not last the way they were supposed to because it didn't have the support of us. So we do all of the, the protests and things like that. And I always tell people the economic power that we have can, can really change the world. If we just promote and we just support. And like I, I'm talking about Chef Jamar's events. This is a young man and he brings you quality food. I told him, and I think I told you at the red carpet event, I said, you gotta raise them ticket prices next time. <laughs> And I was serious about this because the the ticket prices that he had on the red carpet event, uh-uh, you would not. You wouldn't even step foot up in a place like that if you weren't paying $100 a plate, literally. Yeah. And so he wanted to bring elegance, and he still does. He brings Hollywood to Kansas City, and that's why he got the nickname Chef Diddy Jr. Because if y'all have ever seen Diddy's get-togethers, that's what he is. It's like. So I want you to go ahead, though, and tell us your um, – Events that you have since my phone ain't reading it. I don't know what's going on, but um, tell us the events that you have going on and please, please, please promote your boxes that you are selling for both holidays. Okay, Dax. Well, as she's going through her laptop and pulling up my resume as we speak, yes, I now have a chef's resume. Yes. We just <laughs> got done making. So me and Chef Gina and Chef Ashley, we all have now, we all now have a chef's resume. I want to thank my chefs and my team for uh, their support and their, I mean, just being able to, uh, for all of us to come together yes, um, to uh, be able to put on such an eloquent event. Um, yes. It's definitely absolutely amazing. But the passion, the drive, I mean, the love of cooking. You can um, tell. It's, it, it's, it's amazing. Now, he it has is. his, I do have his resume. It finally worked. I don't know what's going on. But um, it says, uh, my name is Chef Jamar Gridine, and I'm a 21 year old, the 21 year young entrepreneur, founder and CEO of Jamar's Catering. I am a food fanatic, and I have true passion for fine culinary arts and baking. Just about anything my heart tells me. I am the I am the junior chapter president of Kansas City, Missouri, and nationwide with the Black Chef Association, Atlanta, Georgia. I also love giving back to community. His skills are developing a strong menu people person, efficient and successful, multitasking, hardworking, creative, committed, ambitious, determined, young entrepreneur, team player, and an active listener. Now we're gonna give you his experience, uh, 2016 till now. And it's something that I'm reading 2016 because the event he put on looks like he's been doing this thing for years and the food was delicious. Uh, personal chef, catering, private parties, weddings, birthdays, anniversary, traveling chef, which is, if you when you hear that portion of it it'll blow your mind some of the things he's done traveling who he's actually been a chef for as a traveling chef meal preps and celebrity chef um and his awards are junior chapter president of kansas city missouri and nationwide national black chef association atlanta award-winning recipient in bca atlanta georgia nominated as number one person to follow in 2020 by yahoo Skills USA, FCCLA, NAACP, ACT, 
uh, SO first place national winner, scholarship to Culinary Institute of America in New York City, National Tech Honor Society Awards, uh, varsity football letter. Yay, I'm a, I'm a football mom. 30 medals in track, sportsmanship award. Ooh, 30 medals in track, you was killing it. Look, <laughs> I went to state my senior year and got third all state. In what? Track you better yes. go ahead. Uh, cross country, I'm a cross country mom right now. Track mom, football mom, cross country mom. And then a uh, cross country all com conference and champ at and third at all state champ. So, and he's been on several different um, platforms, uh, platforms uh, news platforms, not just the Lene Gray show. Who got their phone up? I'm hearing feedback. Oh, that's you, Miss Walker. Okay. This is Mr. Walker over there with his phone up. <laughs> he always tells me your phone is up. But anyway. <laughs> but um uh you've been on several news platforms and the amazing thing that he did was it, he was recently working for a restaurant and the restaurant needed attention and he he put himself on the back burner and gave that restaurant free marketing for a for a, a news uh segment that was supposed to be about him mm. and you know i i've owned a business if y'all know how expensive marketing is and if you ever call a radio station and especially a news channel and ask them can you market can they come do a segment they have to deem you worthy enough to even ser take you seriously and then they'll say oh we can do this but we'll send you over to our if I'm not mistaken, their sales team. Yes. <laughs> their the sales, marketing sales program. The marketing sales program. And then they quote you a price that you like, you got to be Hellsberg Diamonds or something to afford this. I mean, really. So he selflessly, um, a, a restaurant that he was volunteering for, uh, gave them the spotlight and got them in more uh, clients into their restaurant. And I just want to say for a 21-year-old young man to do that from the kindness of his heart, that's a beautiful thing. And uh, he and I had talked about it and everything. And I was like, wow, this is an absolute beautiful thing. You're going to continue to be blessed for the beautiful things that you do. But let's go ahead and talk about what you have uh, going on. Y'all, he got, so, uh, go ahead, go ahead. I get excited. Y'all yeah. just, y'all need to friend him. Comments. Give him, oh, yeah. Give him your, uh, give them how to contact you. Um, so, um if you guys would like to contact me, you now have to go through my manager. I'm mm -hmm. sorry about that, but it's just business. That's business is. is business. Yes, so, yes. If you'd like to contact me, please email Boyer at 816 at gmail.com. B-O-Y-E-R at 816 at gmail.com. And there is a very specific reason that this has to happen now because Jamar mm -hmm. does things with his heart. Yes. And so we do not want Jamar doing business with his heart anymore, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad yes. his manager's like, no. So, but go ahead and read the comments you said you have. Yes. And then also, um, if you want to get in touch with my manager, she does my scheduling. Okay. Um, and she's based out of St. Louis. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and give you her uh, information as well. Uh, you can. This is basically her Google phone number, so you okay. can contact her. Wonderful, wonderful. Through, uh, Messenger um, or face or really through anything. Her number is three one four two zero zero five one eight zero. I repeat awesome. for scheduling and for booking. Please contact three one four two zero zero fifty one eight zero, and she is controlling uh, my schedule and anything else that I may have. Uh, going on, Chef. Oh, give me your name. Oh, uh, well, name? what's her name? <laughs> Jasandra. What's her last name? Like Gina. Jasandra. Gina, Gina. Okay. Okay. Gina she was Jasandra. there at the red carpet. Yes. 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 She was the one in front, um, giving you know, making sure people were uh, you know at, at their seating and tables. Absolutely. And she did an amazing sure job and just making sure everyone who was in there had bought their tickets and sanitized. It was a lot of people were afraid of the. Um, um, COVID, yeah. But it was a very sanitary location, so you had, you know, he he had made provisions for all of that. But go ahead and tell the people what you have coming up. Y'all get your get your money that folds together. <laughs> yeah. So guys, uh, we have a lot of stuff coming up. I'm uh, very excited. Um, so I'm going to start off with my holiday boxes. I do them every year. Mm -hmm. And so for Thanksgiving, uh, we are now taking orders. Okay. I repeat, we are now taking orders. We're only taking orders until November the 16th. Right, so right. You got four weeks to get your orders in. And tell them what the uh, what the the Thanksgiving boxes, how much are they, 
and what can they expect in the box and what serving sizes? Okay, so for the boxes, um, for the thanks, we're gonna start with the Thanksgiving boxes. They include uh, mac and cheese, mm -hmm. greens, mm -hmm. grandma's jams, mm -hmm. grandma's uh, smoked turkey. You get the turkey or ham. You can get, uh, you know, you'll go ahead and get that wine to go with it. By the godly now. wine. Yes, the godly, godly wine. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's the godly wine. It feeds four to it feeds four to five people, and that box is one fifty. That's not bad. It, for feeding four to five people, that is excellent. And it's got flavor. I, I, they out of business now, I can say it. The Boston Market, one year we didn't feel like cooking, and I bought my Thanksgiving dinner from Boston Market. And not only was it half done, but it didn't have no flavor. So I had to re-season and cook everything. It, it defeated the purpose of buying my food. They out of business, I can say it now. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, because I cook Thanksgiving dinner and I cook Christmas dinner. 150 <laughs> you paying somebody 150 <laughs> to do all that work go through price chopper you're gonna be at 150 and it's gonna be two the things food. in your cart absolutely, <laughs> so, absolutely. we ain't talking there ain't gonna be no wine in the cart <laughs> right. no, no godly wine i y'all heard it it was godly it's I didn't, godly wine <laughs> Oh, and I'm like, yo, he said greens. I'm like, I, yeah, I need some grandma's greens. Really? I mean, he and he throws down. I wish y'all had seen him do them uh, ribs and ribs and mashed potatoes and, and seasoned. Oh, my goodness. Yesterday. Every and I'm not even a meat eater, y'all. And I was sitting there like, I want some. <laughs> but go ahead. I'm sorry. We just all up in your segment. <laughs> Hey, that's so you doing okay so for thanksgiving you're doing the thanksgiving boxes do you have anything else um that you will be doing uh during the month of november yes so be starting now all the way till the end of the year okay mm -hmm. and there's a reason why we're doing this till the end of the year and so we're starting out we're starting off with the thanksgiving boxes mm -hmm. in the thanksgiving boxes you can get greens sexy mac and cheese yams grandma's hope sweet tur smoked turkey or ham and you also get Golly Fine Wine, owned by Shea Phillips. She is 27. She is the second national black female a wine owner in Kansas yes. City. And I am now working with her. And now I can say this because since we're on air and um, it has been out there, I've actually ordered a couple of wine bottles. I've actually We've actually done some business together. That's so beautiful. I am excited uh, about that. Um, her wine is awesome. And so also with that, so with Thanksgiving boxes, with all the boxes, mm -hmm. um, you can purchase wine. Um, each wine bottle is 30 bucks. That's um, not bad. And it's fresh. Wow. I, I mean, yeah. it's, 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 it's I, take, I, did, I did a wine tasting. I was thinking, I was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Barely okay. able to get the wine. <laughs> 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 wow. So, the wines are absolutely beautiful. Um, Shay Phillips, if you're watching this, make sure you're tuning in. I'll be sharing this on your uh, your platform. So if you guys want to order Golly Fine Wine, go to Shay Phillips on Facebook or go to Golly Fine Wine on Facebook as well. Um, also with the dessert boxes this year, we're still doing the, the uh, dessert boxes. We raised the price to 100 bucks plus the Golly Fine Wine. So okay. it's be a total of 130 for the boxes. Awesome. And with the boxes, you get a dozen cookies. A dozen cupcakes, one cheesecake, one pie of your choice. Mm. And if you want to substitute some items, you can. Um, there's, of course, there's going to be extra calls. We do deliver. Okay. Awesome. There is a delivering fee. So Expect a delivery fee, y'all. Yes, because uh, a couple people of, gas don't run on thank yous. They don't. Uh, <laughs> I always say that cars don't run on thank yous. <laughs> <laughs> so with Thanksgiving boxes, we have, uh, again, a dozen cookies, a dozen cupcakes, one cheesecake one pie of your choice and of course you get a bottle of wine to go with the boxes now for christmas seafood platters let me tell you something seafood platters two hot eyes okay we raised the price yes. to 200 yes plus the godly fine wine uh oh so uh -oh. that's 230 dollars but tell them what the they boxes. getting because y'all i do seafood because of my creole heritage and so my daddy was Creole and he was a chef as well. And, but he always cooked the Creole according to the way his mama did it. He mm -hmm. never, but I do this. I did it last year. And I think I did it the year before a couple of years. Tell them what all they get. $200 don't even buy the groceries of what he's giving y'all. Go ahead. So with the seafood platter boxes, you get sausage, crab legs, uh, boiled eggs. You get shrimp. 
I do a nice Cajun sauce that I make from scratch. You can get it mild or hot, whichever one you prefer. And then it also comes with a bottle of Fine Guy wine. You know, All righty. And, and to go with the boxes, that's an corn. extra $30 for the bottle. But the box, so might as well say the box is $130. Yeah. Be, uh, no, the $230 for the seafood. Correct. $230 for the box because the bo bottle is $30. So Correct. you might as well go on here, throw that bottle in there so you ain't got it. And you get you some fresh, yes. godly fine wine. I just love yes. that name. Godly fine wine. I love it. And don't we, we, can't, we can't forget about the corn on the cob. It's corn on the cob. Oh, yeah. You got to have that with the seafood. Yes. And so he's... he. And then this year, I've also, along with these boxes this mm -hmm. year, um, I partnered up with uh, St. Jude's Hospital awesome. uh, this year. So November the 15th will be St. Jude's Virtual Cooking with Chef Jamar. Awesome. With, um, helping the kids with autism. So um, That's I will amazing. be um, That's doing amazing. a cooking class November mm -hmm. the 15th. Um, if you guys want to donate, you can to the cause. Um, it's online. Tell them where to send donations to the Cash App. It's dollar sign Chef JG. Um, That's and easy. I also have Venmo. It's going to be Venmo. It's basically just Jamar Redine. It's my first and last name. Okay. And then we also do Apple Pay as well. Um, for donations for the virtual cooking class on November the 15th for St. Jude's Hospital um, with Kids Fighting Autism. As well, with the holiday boxes also, I'm partnering up with Operation Underground Railroad, Stopping Human Trafficking. Awesome. So, Beautiful. 10% uh, of the proceeds and donations will go towards the organizations that I've partnered up with this year awesome. to uh, give back to the community. Um, also, beautiful. I've also partnered up with Big Brothers Big Sisters organization. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> uh, and for, for December, their gala dinner, they're hosting a silent auction, and also yours truly, Chef Jamar, will be doing a virtual cooking for the kids, teaching the, the little kids how to, I'm the big brother, and teaching the, the, the little kids how to cook. That's beautiful. Virtually. That's um, beautiful. So we have all those big things coming up. And now you have to tell them about December 12th. Yes, so December the 12th. Guys, you don't want to miss it. December the 12th, some fix it from 6 to 9. Same thing, except this time it's a Winter Wonderland. Part 2 of the red carpet, except guess what? The color scheme is blue, silver, and white. Y'all ain't ready. So, <laughs> y'all hey, ain't ready. <laughs> get your Cinderella dresses out. <laughs> Absolutely. Palm dresses, ball gowns, all white. Party, Absolutely. Whatever you want to call it. Absolutely. We're coming again. We're back. And men come dressed to impress. Yes. Don't have your ladies all dressed up and you you wearing a shirt and a pair of slacks. <laughs> uh, anybody who came up in there in that red carpet that we just had and the, and the men wasn't on point they felt really underdressed by the time <laughs> they got done i'm telling you this one this is a show stopping event y'all need to look up any party that diddy throws look it up look up the upscale parties look up the, the party that jay-z and them did uh uh for the rock nation where they had all of that green and you see how everybody was dressed up and all that y'all need to come ready come yeah. ready tell them what's the cutoff date for the tickets uh, for December 12th event. So tickets are going to sell right now. Um, you can do Cash App. It's dollar sign Chef JG. You can do Venmo. And then there will also be an Eventbrite um, going out this week as well, along with the uh, with everything going out. So what are your pages, um, your social media pages that they can follow and stay up on these events? Okay, so on these events, you can follow me on Facebook at Jamar. It's J-A-M-A-R. Last name is Grudine. It's G R I. Two D's as in dog, I N E, and then a space book on both business and personal page. And then on Instagram, it is at Chef Jamar, and then a capital G. And then also, guys, don't forget uh, the cutoff for the December the 12th, Winter Wonderland, starts now all the way until December the first so you got one month to get your ticket in. one month. i'm giving you guys a month because last see, time i was only giving y'all two weeks two weeks he's giving everybody a month this time but here's the thing he's sticking with that month because it's the food be sold out it, it's the gonna food, be sold out yeah the food <laughs> i'm telling you I'm, i have to i have to send him the money for dapper dan's ticket tonight because dapper dan was like <laughs> dapper dan is my 15 year old he was born in st luke's hospital when we, and i had really good insurance and he was raised really affluent so he does not know the the struggle that mama is going through right now he told me the other day we talking about cars he talking about some i was looking at the price of porsches and you know porsches really aren't that expensive yeah he's getting the two feet <laughs> flipper uh he's about to be the flip stall he's he gonna get one of them baby <laughs> porsches with the little battery out of walmart that's what he gonna get but 
y'all got to get ready for this. This is an amazing event. I want to thank you for what I want to thank both of these young men. They represent black excellence. And Jamar has some comments that are coming through his um, uh, Facebook live. You can go ahead and read those comments. Okay. So someone says, what is going on? <laughs> y'all, we done missed the St. Jude's. Uh, <laughs> your live is choppy. <laughs> Seafood ain't cheap. Okay, let me repeat this again, what I got going on. <laughs> so all of the followers and everybody can hear me clearly. Okay. Tell them where to find this video. Uh, you guys can find this video on KUAW, Knowledge, Wisdom, and Understanding. Knowledge. Un it's freezing. Okay. And tell them it's the Lene Gray Show. That's where they get to see whatever you're saying. <laughs> go to YouTube. Yes. YouTube. Go to YouTube, guys. Or you can find K U A W. K U A W. Go to YouTube. It's going to be on K U A W. Or you guys, if you're watching my live Facebook right now, you can uh, tune in and share it. And uh, but I'm going to run through all this really quick. I only got five seconds. So pay attention. Listen. Put down mute your TVs. Whatever you got to do. Get your hand pen and paper out. So first, December twelfth. Tickets are going on sale for the Winter Wonderland right now. You don't want to miss it. Get your tickets. Uh, it, the tickets end on December 1st. I repeat, tickets for December 12th. They end December the 1st. 60 for singles, 80 for couples. Now we got VIP seats now. Uh oh, so that's $100, a lot of $100 for VIP plus swag bags to go with your VIP tickets when you purchase your tickets. Uh oh, yeah. Now, guys, seating is limiting because we only got 10 seats for the VIP. So get okay. your tickets in. Get I, that's a hundred per VIP, right? Per <laughs> VIP. Per. No, it ain't the whole VIP. It's a hundred dollars per person. Come on, y'all. Come Look. on. Look, we, we want to make sure we clarify. Right. I want you to be like, oh, I paid a hundred dollars on VIP. I get the whole VIP. No. And, and you bring it in. You know, now nah, is per person. So that's two hundred dollars for those that want to be treated as very important people. Absolutely. In which everybody that's going to be at this event is technically VIP. VIP. Yeah. But you want to be VIP of He's VIP. stepping the game up. up. And, Trust me. And, yes. and trust and believe, I'm going to be there. Oh, <laughs> tell Gina that I know how she do it and I know <laughs> what happens. I'm, I'm shouting her out because that's my people's. But I've been watching you since the Little Negre show introduced you. And it was funny because Gina was reaching out to me and I was like, hey, this is the next thing I know. It was already destined. I was like, well, I didn't even say that. I was going to put your name down on the list. <laughs> um, so for you to be a 21 year old, um, entrepreneur the people you're working with i know boyer i, I can tell you i know boyer because we went to school together mm -hmm. uh we went Shout to ukc to <laughs> uh that's my guy i will say red uh, mm -hmm. uh and he definitely when i say he's about business is about business and you are someone that not only is about business but you give with your heart and you're someone as as i'm here as a state senate candidate of fully for the people i'm looking across as someone that is directly for the people yeah. and bringing you not only a quality meal but a fantastic experience if you didn't see the videos you need to go back on youtube k-u-a-w the yes. late gray show yes. of the red carpet affair that happened this time you got the winter wonderland that's happening y'all better and that get is, ready that is what 60 for a single 60 80 for, for a single. couple yes. and then 100, 100 per VIP. vip and if you can't get that then you apparently you ain't ready because kansas city is on the market with this yeah this is he's not bringing hollywood to kansas city he's bringing kansas city to hollywood yeah and he's showing you all what we are here and about i'm going to support you i already know i'm telling i'm committing you and when look, i say i commit look, myself I look at that. There you go. <laughs> when i commit myself it's done so don't worry about it <laughs> i will advertise just as much um just because I advertised when you had the last time I was yeah, sharing it. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to go because I had to respect some boundaries and we, we understood those boundaries. Yes. But this time I need something to dress up for because yes. my closet is stocked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Oh, <laughs> well, this but. is the Lene Gray show and I would invite everyone. If the video is choppy, I, I invite everyone to go watch uh, the Lene Gray show on K U A W on YouTube. That's the video that I've been sharing because Facebook has been doing something with all of our lives that it's just making making things miserable. So just uh, it'll take him a while to upload the video, but go to KUAW and look up the video, The Lene Gray Show. And um, I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all so much. It makes me proud, 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 proud to see two young men representing black excellence 
and doing amazing things for our community. You are you are doing amazing things for the young men who are coming up looking at you. Y'all keep it up. I fully support you. Y'all know both of y'all know y'all both of them. Jamar called and was like, I need to announce something. And then right after I made Jamar's appointment, here come George. But it was a beautiful thing because my guest had called me and said, I'm not ready. I still didn't have it. I was like, oh, cool. We can catch you for 2021. So boom, this was y'all's favor to be able to. Yeah. That was that was divine appointment. Yes. So and then also, guys, if you guys want to get in touch with me, remember, there we go. he's got 314 200 and the rest is history. But uh, contact me if you want to get in touch with me for bookings. Go to chefjamar.com or inbox me on Facebook. Uh, my managers will be up there and they'll handle everything. His managers, yes. because he is not allowed to. Chef Jamar has a big heart. So does George Fuller. So George going to get a manager in a minute because both of them don't know how to say no to the people. <laughs> so we're going to get George a manager too, just for his everyday life. If people be blowing up his phone, I know his wife be like, do not answer that phone. Yeah. So, um, you all, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to October 27th, Lene Gray edition, the Lene Gray show edition. Take care. Blessings.